Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Curtain Call Podcast. I am your host, as always, Irish Neep, and welcome to the Fast Count. If you're on Spotify, we appreciate you listening in. If you're listening or watching on YouTube, please consider dropping a like, giving a subscribe, and hitting the notification bell so you never, ever miss an upload. Today's the Fast Count. If you don't know what the Fast Count is, it's basically where we take one single top topic and talk about it for about five to ten minutes or so. You get our opinions about it, and then we always ask for your opinion about the topic down below in the comment section, so let us know what you think by the end. Today's episode is a good one. It's kind of the talk of the town of WWE. Who is going to dethrone our tribal chief, the head of the table, the bloodline, Roman Reigns? Now, the rumors of the last week, uh, maybe a few weeks, maybe to a month now, is that the great one, the Brahma Bowl, the Rock, is coming back. Now, if we if we can look at this two ways. If you ask me, I don't want that to happen. I'm going to be real. Because you look at two scenarios. If it's for the title at WrestleMania, the Rock wins. Then we have another part-time champion, and we're back where we were a few years ago when everyone was complaining about Brock being a part-time champion, never being around, on and on and on. If Roman wins, then what? We have Roman, because let's be real, Roman's not losing that title on any other show but a WrestleMania. So if he beats The Rock at this upcoming WrestleMania, he's going to be champion for a whole nother year. So from now until two WrestleManias from now, that's going to be another year and a half of Roman Reigns being champion. I don't know about you, but I'm not feeling that. I think Roman Reigns is doing the best work he's ever done in his career. Um, I'll be the first to admit that when he was in the Shield, he was always my least favorite member. Um, when he was getting his singles push, I wasn't on board with that either. He's he's worked better as a heel. I think he should remain a heel um, until it's time for one of those incredible babyface turns. But I think that's far down the line. So... Roman Reigns wins. He's champ for another year and a half. I don't think that, you know, I don't I don't like that idea. And a whole lot of people I've asked don't like that idea. So who dethrones Roman Reigns? I want to give a quick shout out to my man B Master over on TikTok who said it's probably going to be The Rock. But if it's not a part timer, Drew McIntyre makes the most sense. And I think I'm on board with that. <laughs> Excuse me. I think Drew McIntyre makes a lot of sense to dethrone Roman Reigns if it's not a part-timer like a Rock or a Goldberg. Not saying Goldberg's going to do it, but, you know, a part-timer like that. So Drew McIntyre makes a lot of sense to me. Personally, if you ask me, I'm going with the Ring General from the UK, Walter. Now, the last few months, year, it's been known that Walter doesn't want to work in the States, doesn't want to come to America and work full-time or even somewhat full-time. But he's, uh, he's dating a, a women's wrestler that's kind of in the business that lives in the States, so he's spending a lot more time in the States. Maybe that's opening up his mind a little bit. We shall see. But if you ask me, I want the ring general, Walter, to dethrone Roman Reigns and become the new Universal Champion. Now that Roman Reigns doesn't wear that vest, he, the chops could be incredible. I think the match would be incredible. Obviously, I don't think it's going to happen because the casual Monday Night Raw viewer who just flicks on Monday Night Raw every Monday, the casual fan who's not you know, on the internet side of things or doesn't know the behind the scenes, probably isn't going to know who Walter is. So they might have to spend at least a little time building him up. But the hardcore fan, the people that watch wrestling in and out, know the, ind- you know, in- the independence and the internet and stuff like that, they know Walter can throw down. They know Walter is a, uh, a viable option when it comes to th- dethroning Roman. Let me know what your thoughts about uh, Walter are in the comments below. But yeah, that's kind of it for the fast count. Like I said, it's just a few minutes. We kind of discussed a single topic and obviously who, you know, The Rock and Roman Reigns losing. These have all been kind of hot conversations going in the WWE lately. It's pretty much the only good thing the WWE has been going on on the, you know, it is it is what it is. But um, yeah, I wanted to get this episode out. Like I said, if you're on Spotify, we appreciate you listening. If you're on the YouTube, consider dropping a like, giving us a subscribe, hitting that notification bell so you never, ever miss an upload. We got some exciting stuff coming soon. More full episodes, fast counts. We're going to be doing some old school pay-per-view uh, reviews. You know, going to be throwing on some WCW or early, you know, 90s and early 2000s WWE pay-per-views, giving those a rewatch and then doing reviews on those. It's not just present day and the beyond on this uh, on the Curtain Call podcast. We do nostalgia, past, present. We do the future, you know, even the future. But yeah, please consider uh like I said, giving us a like and a follow on any of the platforms that we're on. Irish Neep on TikTok is my TikTok. I R I S H N E E P. Irish Neep. Um, I appreciate all the support over on that as well. 
Um, early December, we're going to be uh, having some merchandise over on my TikTok lives. A few people have been asking about stickers and, and shirts and stuff like that. So we're going to be launching some merch very, very soon. I am recording this on Thanksgiving Day. So to all my uh, people in the States, happy Thanksgiving. Everyone else, hey, happy uh, Thursday. You know what I mean? But yeah, we appreciate you listening. Like I said, drop down below in the comments who you think should dethrone Roman Reigns. And we appreciate you listening. Too sweet. Throw them up if you got them. And I'm going to steal it from my boy, JR. You know we always kick out at 2. I'll catch you guys later.